woman sitting next to me. I didn't know where to put my face. It doesn't seem to have put you off finding words for this brain teaser. Keyword undemocratic. What have you got? Mount, mate, moan, mound. Ride, rude, crude, nude. Rod, run, nut, rut. Nice, cute, round dome and dormice. <laughs> oh, Freudian. Well, you can't wonder at it. We're stuck under your nose all the while. Can't go anywhere these days. Evidently. I told you about these two waitresses I heard discussing their boyfriends in the pizza hut the other day, discussing their boyfriend's dimensions. Well, what dimension? What do you think? What dimensions? Well, they weren't comparing hat sizes. <laughs> I want to listen to that when I'm filling up my salad bowl. Thank you very much. Yes, well, there's no need to get a complex about it. You are what God made you. Exactly. I mean, we don't even know them. What do you mean, what God made me? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm not getting any complexes. I'm glad to hear it. Nothing to get complexes about. I don't believe these letters. Listen to this one. Dear Auntie Lucy, Although we are both over 70, my husband and I still enjoy normal relations every Saturday night with the help of painkillers. <laughs> My husband is a confused as to the subject of contraception and always keeps his cat on as a precaution. Ten pound letter. <laughs> well, why do people want to talk about things like that? Well, with some people, that's all they can do, is talk. That's all some people are capable of. What's the matter with you, suddenly? Nothing. What? Nothing. Well, another half hour, we'll be there. Bleak house with April and Vince. 
<laughs> Suppose everything will run to his usual form, same as it always does whenever we're down there for a weekend. She'll laugh like a simpleton at everything I say for no apparent reason, while he goes out the back and talks to his cucumbers. <laughs> thought when they moved down the coast to open a boarding house we got rid of them forevermore, but no. Boarding house is more like a wildlife kingdom. Things you see darting about round their skirting boards. Inspecting the mattresses like a day out at Chesington Zoo in itself. <laughs> they'll put us up in that pokey little attic room again where you have to open the fan light to take your vest off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I didn't say anything. I thought you were about to tell me to, for God's sake, give it a rest and stop moaning. You go ahead if it makes you feel better. She's next doors. She can smell the fish stain on the chair. She hasn't been sick under the table. Oh, uh, and won't wash your hands. Uh, there we are. Victor on his way down. Yes, he's just coming. Of course, we haven't seen the pair of you since he retired. How's it all going, then? All right. Have our ups and downs, you know. Oh, I love him to bits, your Victor, don't you? I only have to look at him and he makes me laugh. It's the way he keeps coming out with things. Yes, he does tend to. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh, Victor, over here. We're at the captain's table. Everything all right for you? Generally speaking, no. I've just been into the bathroom in the top landing and discovered a dead seagull in the lavatory. <laughs> you see what I mean? It doesn't matter what he says. He's got that dry wet. I'm not joking. It's in there. I lifted up the seat and there it was staring at me. <laughs> One of his feet caught on that little lemon freshener thing. <laughs> I'm being serious, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what, really? <laughs> it must have flown through the window and fallen in the bowl. <laughs> well, I didn't imagine it would come out of someone's bottom. <laughs> I just wanted to know what you were going to do about it out of general academic interest. Then... <laughs> There's a dead seagull in the top toilet. Will you see to it, please? Yes, dear. Uh, everything all right, everyone? <laughs> and how's Victor? Mm, so nice to see you. <laughs> all right, my love. Oh, sorry. I thought Ruth Forsyth had just walked into the room. <laughs> There's plenty more. <laughs> Sorry about that. Must be the cat. I think I'm allergic. when this bed was last turned. Look at this. Frank, I feel she taught me how to yodel. 
Hard as a brick as usual. What was that? What? I saw something just scuttle across the top of that tall boy in there. <laughs> the next time I come here, I'm going to pack my elephant gun. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> See, that brandy did you some good. <laughs> what side do you want to sleep on? I don't mind. Which? Oh, teeth. <laughs> Those swing bin liners aren't made for cormorants. <laughs> you tie them up and the beak keeps sticking through. <laughs> oh, you'll have to get me some more of those antihistamines. Well, I put their poison down by the nest. I don't think they'll be doing it again. Will you give me a hand? Yeah. Put this back. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. No, no, it's all right. We finish now. Medicine, it's not here. Dorking. Die. Dorking, we cannot find. Dorking. Dorking. Dorking, there is not a dorking. No, dorking. Good night, Petra. Good night, Marie. Good night, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Remaining, apparently, these two girls seem very nice. Speak very good English. We were just having a chat in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yes. What about? Made you foam at the mouth, whatever it was. <laughs> Usual, was it? Dimensions. <laughs> oh, damn. And there's me forgot to pack the steel ruler again. <laughs> steel? What steel ruler? The one that's gone rusty through lack of use. <laughs> Coffee, fruit juice, wheat a bit soggy with honey, nice runny egg, and a toasty crispy bun, all done to a turn. Sounds revolting. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Margaret left early. She's gone to do some shopping and some sightseeing. How did you sleep? All right, did you? Yes, very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Vince wants to see you later in the garden. Got something for you. Oh, really? What is it? <laughs> My lips. Are sealed. <laughs> How are you today? 
friends, you darlings. How's my Topsy? You'd like a nice little drink, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Good morning, my tasty greens. <laughs> Time for breakfast. I haven't forgotten you. There we are. They hear every word you say, you know, Victor. Every word. And you respond as well, don't you, my little darling, eh? I don't suppose you've ever grown an organic cucumber? <laughs> uh, I can't say I have, Vince, no. No, well, it's not something you should dabble in unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I've got something for you. A little retirement present. It's down here. Hey, dear, what is it? An organic compost heap? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little something I ran up myself. You might like it, or you might not. Yeah. What do you think of that thing? <laughs> yes, it's a... Uh, it's a gravestone. Yes. You haven't got one already, have you? <laughs> no, I know. No, uh... Oh, God. Six weeks it took me to do that. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with this scroll work round the top here. Very tricky, that. One slip with a chisel, you bollocks up the whole slab. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Vince. I suppose it might seem a bit morbid in some people's eyes, but I mean, that's money you won't have to fork out later on. <laughs> and as that always used to be my trade, stonemasonry, I thought, why not? Good quality piece of marble, he'll appreciate that. You're a shame you haven't got your car with you. Still, you can always leave it here with me until you need it. Yes, well, perhaps I'll do that then, Vince. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. much. I was force-fed Weetabix puree and sent us to death. An average day, really. off your head. Oh, I'm boiling, Margaret. I have just put super glue on that glass. <laughs> what? I've just stuck the bottom in where it had come out. Oh, my God! Don't! <laughs> it's stuck solid! Don't pull at it! You'll take the skin away! Oh, no, how quickly that stuff sets! Oh. Oh, brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. I just wish for this to round off the day. I prayed for this moment, this joyous moment where I've got a, a glass full of ink bitter welded to my forehead for all eternity. Don't get up, it'll spill everywhere. <laughs> Well, I can't lie like this forever, can I? Like a bedridden Dalek. I'll get April to phone for an ambulance. Take you down to the hospital. They'll get it off in no time at all. Oh. Ooh, you... Uh. Oh. Manage all right in the toilet. Yes, thank you. <laughs> With one hand. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I suppose you can see their point. It's not an actual emergency as such. And if we'd gone off and got stuck in the rush hour, you'd only have felt worse. Vince says he'll drive you down to casualty first thing. You'll feel better after a night's sleep. I expect so, yes. So I haven't filled in the second date on it yet, you know. If and when, you've only got to give me a shout. Soon knock that off for you. <laughs> Don't take me a minute. No. You, darling, you. I reckon it won't be long now, will it? <laughs> Sorry? Your wrists and ankles. It's very good. Most of the guests swear by it in that room. Uh, safe journey home. Bye bye. Did they think he'd be down there long then? Well, I dropped him off at nine. It was like a madhouse then. So, told me I'd better not wait. He'd make his own way back. Oh, that sounds like him now. Morning. 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 Oh, Vince, have we got some powder for the mattress in number seven? Right here, then. I'll see you at dinner. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> no problems with the glass, then? What glass? <laughs> oh, no. They have a special solvent they use. It didn't take more than five minutes. <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd walk back along the front, then I met Petra and Marie. What's that on your neck? What? That, on the side of your neck. Where? Oh, yes. Do you know where I got that? In the bathroom last night. I thought I felt one of them bite me then. <laughs> Bloody things. Just as well I got some more of this spray. Before they chew us all to black. <laughs> Margaret? <laughs> Margaret? Oh, my drag. Something the matter. What is it? Ashley, I douche. Use the shower. But it's full of. Um, Chest, Marie. Oh, what is the word? Michi. Michi. Oh, Michi. Dad, no, Michi. I've so got a very thing here. Stand back. I'll deal with this. There we are. 
There we go. with Dracula's daughters. Margaret, open this door. Well, I'm not sure that I dare to such a rampant super stallion. <laughs> Did I guess if it came here, what's the matter? Nothing you can do anything about, evidently. Oh, right. Well, I might as well go home, shall I? Don't seem to be able to do anything here. How's the migraine? Hmm? Not much better. I found these, but they're a bit strong. They do knock you out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this bed's ever so hard. Why don't you have our bed? We're sleeping here tonight. No, no, no. I'll be fine, thanks. Oh, come on. You'll be more comfortable. And the thicker curtains won't let the light in. What time is it? Margaret, it's just gone ten. Now stop worrying about him. I mean, it was just one of those things. You didn't know he was going to be beaten up by midgets. Expect <laughs> <laughs> he'll be home by now. You can give him a ring in the morning. <laughs> there we are, my love. Ooh. Yes? Who is it? Police. Oh, uh, yes, wait a minute. Let you in. This is April Blewett. Yes? Got something here I think belongs to you. It's not making a lot of sense. We found him in a public lavatory making seagull noises. In future, try and keep an eye on him. Oh, Victor! 
we must get you upstairs and get you undressed. Here has <laughs> <Sophie. laughs> What's he been doing? Come on, give us a hand. Get him upstairs. Shh. Fishing trousers. I forgot to bring them up. Don't you go down there disturbing both of them. I can't go fishing without my fishing trousers. <laughs> Tell Margaret about last night. Be our little secret. <laughs> <laughs> I slept on the sofa. Oh. Are you all right? Yes. You? Yes. Um, the taxi's just coming. Yes, I know. Uh, look, why don't you take these down? I'll be with you in a second. I've just got one last job to take care of. I thought you might be hungry after last night's exertion. Oh, Victor, that's very kind of you. I've already eaten. I think I've got everything. Soggy Weetabix with honey, runny eggs, orange juice, coffee. Yes, there we are. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. Oh, nearly forgot. <sighs> Hot toasty bun. <laughs> Down to a turn. The next time you take advantage of my body, it'll be under that greystone. <laughs> Did you 
say goodbye to April for me? Yes. Strange. It's the first time she didn't burst into laughter. <laughs> oh, could you stop here just a minute, please? What do you say? Oh, good morning, Margaret. Morning, oh, Vince. Oh. Sorry about that. Should be home by seven. I thought perhaps uh, we might have an early night tonight. Might it be nice? They say our night is all face the truth But I'm just too long in the tooth I've started to deteriorate And now I've And my old knees have started to knock I've just got too many miles on the clock 